What's up, John Wire families? I am back, and this time we're going to do a color sorting activity. So we are working on our color skills. We are working on our math skills by sorting our objects. Um, and I'm going to give you some challenges that could also bring in literacy or fine motor skills to this activity. So the idea of this is basically you are just going to take a piece of paper or a colored towel or I have big pieces of cardboard, mark circles or shapes or whatever of a certain color and your child is going to sort their toys onto the right color. Um, so if your kid was in school any of the last two weeks, um, we did do this activity. So I used for our classroom these big pieces of cardboard and I just had the different colored circles on there. So this one is green, blue, and purple. And mine are somehow not actually a rainbow order. And then I've got this one over here is the red, yellow, orange. So it's hard for you guys to see, but in person, they're very bright marker colors. If you don't have a big piece of cardboard or a box that you can use for this, you can draw a circle on a plain piece of paper. Or if you have construction paper, just use that. Set out a red piece of construction paper, green, blue, and there you go, the colors are already there. Um, if your friend is really good at their colors and knowing what colors different objects are, even if it's lighter or darker, uh, a good challenge to add to this is if I go ahead and just write on either my construction paper or the circles that I've made, if I write the name of the color, and I'm gonna go ahead and just use all capital letters, but, writing this in all caps, not in all caps, right, just writing the name of the color is going to introduce them to those letters and recognizing color words. If you do add in that challenge, make sure that we're not quizzing the child on what letter is that, what does that word say. They're not there yet, but they are at the point where if they see that you wrote a word in their red circle, they're going to ask you, what does that say? Is that R? Is that R like for my name or for my friend's name or the dog's name? Let them make the connections. Um, and if they just kind of point it out briefly, you can say, oh yeah, that says red, R-E-D, whatever level your child's at of you explaining. But we don't, we don't want to, as the adults, provide the focus on that right now. We're going to let the child show us what their interest level is for that letter recognition. Um, so today, I'm going to model for you guys sorting toys. If you are doing laundry this weekend, have your friend help sort the laundry. Do color piles. I think it's a great way for them to learn about household responsibility. Maybe, hopefully, help you with that activity. But again, seeing, you know, colors come in toys, colors come in clothes, colors come in foods. If you have colored bowls, they can sort the snacks in the kitchen if you want. But if I am this area and I'm in my playroom right now and someone has set up this lovely activity for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bag of magnetiles. I'm just going to dump it out. And throw the activity. Because what's probably going to happen is your child's not going to want to do this all at once. If you just give them their bucket of Legos, they're not going to want to sort every single Lego at one time. But if you have the space and if you think you can have the patience, I would really suggest leaving this activity out for them. Make it be available that they can sort colors when they don't know what else to do or how to play with their toy at the moment. If you dump out something like magnet tiles or Legos like I have, encourage your child to sort every piece before they start building if it's a manageable amount. So for me, like I would sort all of these colors before I started building with my magnet tiles because there's not very many. Um, and the best way for us to do this is as grownups, we're gonna model the activity and we're gonna be so excited about it. And when our friends join in and they're doing it every time, even if it's just once and they walk away, wow, great job, you got it on the right color. I'm so proud of you. I wonder where the next one goes. So if I'm sitting here, this is my green magnet tile. Where is my green 
circle. Look, yes, I found the green circle. I did it. Oh, I found another green one. I'm going to put these together. This one's a triangle. You can talk about the shapes of the things or they're sorting animal toys, like name, whatever they're sorting. Now I have a yellow one. I think this goes on my other paper. That's nice. And oh, I have one more yellow. I'm going to put that in there. Yay! So as your friend's doing this, like, we're so excited. Hi, Minnie. We're so excited that they're getting their colors right. We want this to be an engaging activity. We want it to be an engaging activity. So that means that we have to model the excitement. We have to show them that this is fun, not that this is learning in disguise. I've got my two red magnetiles set together. Oh, I'm, well, I know that red and yellow and orange have something in common. Like, my grown-up put those colors together for a reason. So I know that the red's on that side. So another thing you can do is either purposefully put your colors in rainbow order, um, because learning about rainbow order is an important skill for them. But if your child already has that down or it's been in rainbow order for a few days, go ahead, if, especially if you're using like these single pieces of paper, go ahead and put them in a random order. Because we do wanna make sure that it's, in, it's great if your child is memorizing where the colors are and what pattern you have it in. But we also wanna make sure that they're truly understanding their colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort the rest of these real quick. All right, I sorted all of my toys. So now if I was the child, I would be like, yes, I get to build with them now, or I would wanna run and show everyone in the house that I did it, I put them all away. This could be a great step towards learning how to clean up after themselves, maybe, if you can find a good way to use that. Um, but yeah, that's our sorting activity. Like I said, you can do this with toys, you can do this with food, you can do this with laundry. So if you have smaller toys that you're using with your child, try using kitchen tongs. Or if you have child-sized tongs, that is a good way for them to be working on their motor grasp. And it just adds another dimension of fun and engagement to this activity. So try it out today, this weekend. Let me know how it goes. If you have any questions or if you want to share your success, uh, go ahead and put a comment on the YouTube video or the Facebook page. Send me pictures or videos if your child is super excited about this and you just got to share it with the teachers. And I hope you guys enjoy.